Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're talking about Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Kelly on Twitter. She is a individual. Uh, this is a trans woman um, who looks like a female. So if I say she here and there, that's going to happen, right? I'm going to do my best to just say Kelly, okay? But if I slip and say she, or if I slip and say he, hey, it's confusing, okay? I, I, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm a human being. And when I look at another human being that has certain features, my mind gets confused, okay? I hate having to play this dang game that I have to keep guessing, okay? But I'm going to try my best to just say Kelly. Okay, let's hop right on into it. Ba, 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 da, ba. I'm loving it. Not really, though. This is weird, as <laughs> always. Okay, Miss... See? Right there. Already screwed up. Kelly! I didn't know that this was trans when I originally had watched his video, so forgive me. But Kelly, Kelly, nobody likes a centrist. People hate me because I think TERFs are bitter hypocrites and trans women can't have periods. Okay. Many of you of uh, favorite pro-life politicians have paid for abortions behind closed doors. There's usually an option for an extra fee to come in before usual business hours so the higher ups can avoid bad press. So you can kind of see where we're starting, but that is not the video in uh, concern here. But the video that kind of threw me off is this video All right Sharing here. the bathroom with TERFs. As a trans woman, I don't feel comfortable sharing the bathroom with TERFs. And if you don't know- oh, She's gonna tell us what TERF stands for. Here we go. What TERF stands for, it stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. And it's basically just a group of biological women who wish trans women like myself- Didn't exist. Look. They don't wish that y'all didn't exist. They just wish y'all would get out of their life. You come in here running, acting like you run the whole world. And we should just sit down, get on our knees and kiss your feet. And I'm not about it. We're not about it. Women shouldn't be about it. They should be able to have a their own bathroom, their own place to go. This is the same person who, by the way, mentioned that if they don't like, if they don't want to go in the women, if they don't want to go in the women's bathroom with trans women, use the family bathroom. No, you use the family bathroom. You're the one who's confused. A woman shouldn't have to go use another bathroom because they're living their life. You're the one who's living in a complete delusion. You want to dress up like a girl, dress up like a woman, put on the makeup and do all the extra stuff. Cool. But you still need to go, bloop, bloop, go hit that family room. Don't you dare disrespect women. I just don't understand that. I just don't understand that. Why? And this is the kind of stuff you, the trans women fight for. Oh, we love women. What's well, women need to stick together. Y'all are probably the most disrespectful to women ever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just put women down at any chance you get. Now I understand there's the red pill guys. <laughs> Forget them. Y'all know how I feel about the red pill guys. But outside of them, you know, these trans women are absolutely insane how they treat women. Like they're just complete dirt. Dirt. I'm going to go in your bathroom. If you don't like it, go use another bathroom. What You know what that sounds like? Y'all know what it sounds like. Let's continue. Didn't exist. Um, and when I went on my right wing grift or whatever you want to call it, um, my entire Twitter page became filled with these people. And I constantly saw their tweets, constantly saw their beliefs and constantly got their hate. And, you know, anytime, you know, one of them would do something disgusting, for example, let me show you this picture they made of me. I had to block out a piece of the tweet, but I'm sure you can guess what it was. Yep, you're in a man with an inverted penile. Even though this is literally the worst Photoshop job I've ever seen. And what I've noticed with these people I've seen worse. is the hypocrisy. Because anytime I get a tweet like that and I quote tweet it and comment on someone else's looks, oh, that's masculine energy. That That's my male behavior coming out. Like what? Like, I'm sorry, is it not masculine behavior to be commenting on another woman's looks, regardless of if you see me as a woman or not? It's masculine behavior to be demeaning people for what they look like. That's not masculine behavior. That's somebody being rude. See, people take masculine behavior. So us men, right? When men are playing video games, right? When men are in a space, in a locker room, right? When men are playing sports, we can be like buttholes to each other, right? We can be like, man, you ugly looking like Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> you looking like Mr. Bubbles from Bioshock. <laughs> Why your girl look like a little sister? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ugly. You look like, you know, just, you know, stuff like you would see on Wild and Out, right? Just people really joking and being goofy, right? 
men are going to comment on other people's looks. When I, if I post a picture right now, if I got on Instagram, maybe not Instagram, but if I got on somewhere where my face would be seen a lot, just say it was, it, it could reach millions of people. You know what the first thing is going to happen? I'm going to see more men telling me you're fat. Wow. You're short, man, black monkey N words. Men are going to go off on me. Okay. Now the guy, the, there's going to be some guys who are going to joke and call me fat, short, and I'm not going to take it too crazy. Right. You know, but at the same time, there are going to be people who are rude, call me the N-word, blah, 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 continue on and living life, right? That's just what men do, okay? It's not always right in every situation, but men, they just they just, they just, just pick something and they go after you. There are men who are good looking. I guarantee you, if, um, let's say, there's somebody who's a good looking guy. Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole puts up a video. He could put up a video with him with the hottest girl on the planet. You know what men are going to go to? But you still got punched by Draymond. You're still a chump. I beat you down right now. Your girlfriend's ugly. Men don't care, man. Men are just going to pick the smallest thing and they're going to go after you for it. If you ever, I remember one time I, I was playing Dota 2. I'm going off a little bit, but I was playing a game called Dota 2, you know, you know, and I was just playing, boy. And the guy, the men in there, because I didn't know where I was going, the men ripped me to shreds. They were like, this guy's an idiot. He's stupid. He's dumb. He's this. He's that. It is not a trans thing or a woman thing for men to say stuff mean to you. That is not a masculine trait to me. That's just men being men. You know what I mean? Because the way they way make it sound is like it's a masculine toxicity. And I just don't agree with that. I think men just do that stuff sometimes for fun, sometimes just to be buttholes. But I don't think it's masculine to comment on somebody else's looks. Women do it too. Women do it too, but they don't do it like men do it. We Men do it out in public. We don't care. Women don't do it in a sleight of hand. Women might be like, oh, girl, wow, you got on a lot of makeup today. Oh, girl, you're looking, girl, your hair is looking good today. <laughs> What'd you do? Did you go to the salon? You know, they'll say something like that. Pretty much what I take that as just backhanded compliments. Girl, that girl, that dress looks good on you, man. You know, I wouldn't wear it, but <laughs> continue. This group loves to bully me on a daily basis. There's no group. There's no group. The group, people bully everybody. Don't think you're special. When you get on this internet life, people gonna bully you. You don't think the videos I make that people don't disagree with me, it happens. People are gonna bully you. It's just way of life. It's not just because you're you, Kelly. I promise you, it's not just because you're you. They love to tell me that I shouldn't be able to use the women's bathroom and be forced to use the men's. They love to constantly- Aren't you the same person who said that women should go to the family family bathroom? Didn't you say that women should go to the family bathroom? Isn't that forcing them somewhere? Don't even start with the nonsense, you victimhood. Remind me that I'm never going to be able to have a biological child and that that makes them better than me. That makes them better than you. See, you're just making up stuff. I mean, I don't, maybe they did say something like that, but I think Kelly is taking it way more personal. Somebody really saying that to you? Honestly, if we're going to compare, I mean, if we're going to say... Who's the better woman? I think the woman would be the better woman than the person who's not a woman, if that's the argument. But it doesn't really matter in this case. I, you know, there has to me, there is a fine line between being a bully, but at the same time, you like it's just so hard because I understand people don't want to give in to your delusion. People just don't want to say, "Oh, I know you look good, right?" She looks like, I mean, Kelly looks like a girl here, right? Decent looking girl, blue eyes, blah blah blah. But at the same time, it's just like, but you're not. You're never going to be that. And some people give out the harsh truth. Like, you're not going to have a child. Quit acting like you know what it likes to be a woman because you'll never get it. You you put, you put got some breast augmentation. You, you put on some makeup, maybe change your face a little bit. And you think you're a woman now? You're never going to be that. And that is just the beauty of life, right? You can't be whatever you want to. That's beautiful about life. Why? Because it truly makes you accept yourself for who you truly are. We are all born into a certain body, a certain height, a certain look. And we're all going to be like, dang, why can't I look this way? Why can't I look this way? Why can't I look better? Why can't I have these skills? We want it all. Most people want it all. You don't think I want to be 6'4", basketball player, making millions of dollars? But if I was a basketball player making millions of dollars, you know what I would also want to be? A rapper. And then I would want to be a model. And then I want to be the greatest tennis player. No matter what you are and who you are, people always want something else. They always look at their life and go, man, I wish I, wish I was this. I wish I was that. It's just the way it goes. 
but the people who learn to truly accept themselves, those are the people that we need to look up to and follow, right? We need to see, look at them and go, wow, that's amazing. But these people who keep changing themselves, I can't look up to a trans man. I can't look up to a trans woman. I just can't, Kelly. I can't. Because to me, those people never truly accepted themselves. They're still telling me I need to change something in order to truly love myself. And I just have a problem with that. Going off on a little on a tangent. Why doesn't the space bar work? They even take things like my nose size and be like, oh, you should get a nose job. You should have a smaller nose. Like, that's a man nose. It, is that not male behavior right there? Like, you're literally supporting misogyny. What? How's that misogyny? They're saying you need to get a... Look, once again, people would do that regardless. I bet there's women in the comment section saying that kind of stuff. In fact, a woman made a whole video on you talking like this because they don't like you. So because of these... It's not a misogynist thing. It's just That's just how it goes. People will pick the looks and say, hey, look, honestly, at the end of the day, you look good, but you also look like yeah, yeah. What? No, I'm done. These things and their masculine energy and their masculine traits, the same ones that they say I have, I personally don't feel comfortable with TERFs using the same restroom as me. I, I, I don't think we should be allowing these hateful, dangerous people into our private spaces because I'm not comfortable with it. She does make a comment about that later. Now, that sounded sarcastic, but I don't know. You know, there's always some truth in a joke. Kelly! Katie again? Let me know what y'all think about this individual, right? Um, I don't know. I, I, I've i been going through their um, Twitter. Trans women transition into better women than TERFs. I don't really understand what Kelly's pick is. This guy is ugly. If anything, this just tells me I made the right move. I'm a beautiful woman. I like. I don't understand if Kelly's like joking or like. I, I, I'm going. I'm leaning towards the side that Kelly's pretty serious about everything he says. So, you can always tell men are triggered when they start using this. I kind of love not giving an f. You you care. I feel like. I mean, all they talk about is turfs. A lot of turfs. I feel like turfs make fun of dilation because they're mad. It means we stay brand new. I'm so excited to film my house decorating contents for them. We bought a house. Social media really paid me for, really paid for my entire transition and made me a homeowner. I win no matter what you guys say. That's disgusting. This right here, social media really paid for my entire transition and made me a homeowner. I Let me just go on with this last tangent of mine. This has nothing to do with Kelly at all. You guys who get on here and talk about being a homeowner, you guys who get on here and talk about getting money, you guys who get on here and talk about, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think it's a real big insecurity. If you feel like you have to get online and say, hey, we're homeowners. So there's a million of people who are homeowners. Oh my gosh, guys, I got a new apartment. There's millions of people who got new apartments. You know, where people feel like you have to get on here and say, man, I'm making so much money from kick. A lot of people make money from kick. I just don't understand why people feel like they always have to put out their accomplishments as if the majority of the world cares. Because a lot of people don't, right? A lot of people just don't. If you got a new house, just keep that to yourself. And you know, and I understand going from rags to riches, <laughs> rags to riches, rags to riches, rags to... No, even those songs are done. It's just like, dude, just relax. You know, I've told my story, right? From where I came from. But you know... I've been really thinking about it, and I normally don't tell my story from where I came from. I'm not even going to tell you the story now, but I don't like telling my story at all anymore because I start to realize, like, dude, it's just an insecurity. I'm telling people that to make it seem like as if I really accomplished something in this life, like as if I'm really that important because I came from here and I ended up here. And it's just like it, it doesn't really matter anymore. I can't keep living like I'm 13 years old trying to make it out. It, it's just not true. So I just tell people I, I've been working on myself and telling people I had a good life and I have a good life now. That's it. I don't tell people anything about my past. I'm working really hard to just keep all that stuff out because at the end of the day, who cares? Who really cares? It's an insecurity in me to always come out and tell you guys, I got this. I got this new thing. I got this great thing. This is just my life, man. I'm nobody important. I'll never be anybody special. Okay. Nobody truly is special. The only people are special is because we make them special. People are famous because we make them famous, and there's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, man, 
quit looking for this validation from social media. Kelly, I don't know if you're serious or not serious, but I really hope um, that this is all a joke. I still understand you really are a trans woman, and I do hope you truly find acceptance, but I'm sorry, you're never going to find it being a trans woman. You're just not. And I know there's another popular YouTuber, another popular conservative, who you, you guys may think that I am okay with being a trans woman. And I'm not. I don't care how many good videos they make. I don't care how good of content they make and how many times they say that they live their life great. I still disagree with it that they have found full acceptance. I will just never believe in that. I never will. That's not true acceptance. Living your life as the opposite gender will never be true acceptance. Don't care how much money. I don't care how many subscribers you got. I don't care how many times you tell me. I don't care how much makeup you put on. At the end of the day, it's all a facade. It's still a mental illness at the end of the day. I'm not saying this out of hate. I really am not. I have really been also trying to work on... Um, I have a love for everybody. But because what the social media and what everything has turned trans people into, I used to have a hard time seeing them as people I could really care about. I did. I'm being honest. But I've really been working on myself these last couple of years to be like, you know, trans people are people. I shouldn't treat them as if I have to put them in this whole different category of people I care about. And so when I see a trans person, trans woman, trans man, doesn't matter. I want them to truly find acceptance in themselves and truly understand that they don't have to be this opposite gender to truly accept themselves or be accepted by society if they even care about that. I really believe you can still live your life as a man or as a woman, what you were born as, and then truly accept that and just let life go on because life is so hard. I understand we have our struggles. I'm an obese man. I struggle, right? Struggle with the food addiction. It's just hard for me, but I keep trying every single day and one day I'll get it right, you know, and it's hard to just look in the mirror every day. It's hard to see my face. It's hard to make, make thumbnails and make videos and watch myself back and think about how fat I look, how ugly I am, all this stuff. I get depressed. I have a hard time. I have insecurities. It happens. But I have way more acceptance today of who I am than I've ever had in my life. And, and I'm not the only, and I can change my weight, obviously. But at the end of the day, I already know when I lose weight, I'm still going to hate stuff about myself. I already know that for a fact because my weight is not the only thing I hate about myself, believe it or not. There's a lot of things I don't like about myself, but I've truly accepted them for what they are. I was given this body. I was given this life. I was given the circumstances I grew up in. It's okay. I don't want to die hating myself when I'm 70 years old or if I die tomorrow. I want to die going, man, I wish I... No. This is who I am today. I can do stuff to make... The improvements I can make, but at the end of the day, this is who I am for the most part, except for the weight. Everything else I can't change. I can't change being black. You know what I mean? I can't change my facial structure, right? I, I can't change my height. You know? I'll never be I'll never be this tall, handsome guy. It just is what it is. But I have the gifts that I have, and I choose to use them the way that I can. I don't know, man. I hope I'm making sense here, but I just truly want people to accept themselves. And I feel the same for Kelly. I feel the same for Mika. I feel the same for the, the famous YouTuber. But, you know, no disrespect. But anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um, I'll catch y'all on the next topic. And for you people, oh, well, YouTube, I'll say goodbye to y'all right now. Peace.